Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, this is Cellophane, aka Kid Smooth, aka Thuna. Um, but so this is a tutorial on how to individually customize each unit separately. I know, and uh, this is 4.0. The previous version used to be 3.0, but they stopped development on 3.0 of Pitbull, and they moved it to, and they migrated over to 4.0. 4.0 is uh, they they tried to simplify things. They tried to uh, make it a little bit neater and not give you and not throw so many different options at you at once. Because let's face it, 3.0 was a little intimidating, but 4.0, you know, it's still in development, in development, and it um, there could be some things that could be a little bit easier still, in my personal opinion. And that being said. That's why I'm doing a little tutorial on how to do this because I didn't think it was uh, very direct. I thought it was a little, uh, a little, a little tricky, and uh, it could be a little simpler. But that's just personal opinion. However, let's do it. So basically, uh, you're gonna start off with Pipple. It's gonna be defaulted to uh, the normal layout, which is. Under layout editor, you can find that, and then it'll be current layout, and it's going to be normal. All your units, such as uh, the player unit, the target, the target's target, and so forth and so on, being uh, these guys here, are all defaulted to uh, this normal layout. And what that does is so that when when you're changing things in the layout editor, you're changing everything that's defaulted to this layout so what you have to do is you have to create a new one for each unit that you want to separately uh, change and that's what I did I you know I, I made a player unit layout which is this and then I made a player's pet layout which is let me turn this to solo here really quick which is this and I made a you know a target and a target target this way I could individually change these units separately without you know affecting every single one and uh, you go and this is how you do that um, I'm gonna create a new layout with a unit I haven't messed with here we're gonna do we'll do targets target target which I have disabled so I'm gonna enable that now and this is what you're gonna have right here can I move it would be nice if I could move it there we go there we go. Okay, now we're cooking with some gas. All right. So now that we got this uh, unit selected, targets, targets, target. You're gonna go back to layout editor, editor, and you're gonna um, create a new layout. And we're and what I do is I call it the name of the unit I'm working on. It just it's simple that way, and it, it makes it easier to follow what you're doing. So then we're gonna call it targets targets target. And then you're gonna hit enter. And then basically where we go from here now is we go back to units, select targets, targets, target, which it already is. And then you go to layout, and then you select your target's target layout that you just made here in the current layout. And this now, and so anything, so now basically this is going to be the only unit that is under target's target, target layout. <laughs> A little tongue twister. And uh, so now you can change anything here in the layout editor, and it's only going to affect this one. It's not going to affect player or target or target's target or so forth and so on because those are under its own layout. And that's you know, and that's how it works. I mean, it's simple as that. Really, not too bad. It just took me a little. A little it took me a little while to figure that out. And I, I thought that could have been a, a little simpler, I guess. But this works. It works. So you now I'll give a little example. I can go to indicators and turn on the portrait, and it's turned on. 
and it's only enabled and notice it'll, and notice how it only changes for that one and not all the other ones and that's good because you know you can then you can change the text you know you make it different text or different font different size you can do anything here in the layout editor and it's only going to affect this unit here so that's how you do that and uh, I think that pretty much wraps that up I mean I really don't know what else to go through. This is, by the way, this is on, uh, oops, that was an accident. Uh, I was actually here because I wanted to check out the new, the new water. So maybe I'll just show you that while. Alright, stop swimming. I don't need you to swim. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's that. New water, physics. I believe I have Direx 11 enabled. Kind of. I, I did it through the config file like they, they showed you, but I don't know if it's for Cataclysm or I don't know if it's for, uh, I don't know if they made it work with this 4.0.1 patch, but eh, it looks pretty cool. I think it looks good. You can definitely tell the difference if you're not running, running it. But uh, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching.